Hi, I'm back again. I just wanted to show the finished pendants that I made using the faux carnival glass technique. Um, so here they are. This one is the one that was made with the sandstone, okay, which was the sort of golden colour. And I stamped a swirl design into this one, uh, which was a hero art stamp. And I also added a little dragonfly charm and jewellery cord. This one here was the Tim Holtz bingo stamp. And this was with the bubble gum, which is the light blue, ultra thick. So you can see the sparkle on that one. It's a really pretty colour. And this one again, the Tim Holtz Bingo Stamp. And this was the Dove Lake, which is a, a darker blue. So if you just look at those two, the light blue and the darker blue, you can see this one here, the one with the Dove Lake, it's got more of a, a purpley tone to it. And this one here is a, a lot lighter. But still really shimmery and pretty. Um, if anybody would like to see these in reality, I'm going to give them away. So if you leave me a comment saying that you'd like one, and I will give each of them away um, next weekend. So you've got till next weekend if you want to leave a comment and um, say that you want one. And the other thing I was going to show you is a very quick um, technique that you can also use the fantasy film for and this technique um, is to make these little butterflies here and if anybody's watched Bona's videos recently I sent her a card with one of these butterflies on um, so you can see the card um, being used okay so this one was made out of the watermelon um, colour fantasy film I'm going to show you one with the mother of pearl um, and basically what you need to do, you need to find yourself um, whichever stamp you want. So I'm going to use the butterfly again. And you need to ink it in a permanent ink. So I've used the same Brilliant ink that I used for the um, faux carnival glass pieces. So it's the graphite black. And you also need your fantasy film. So this is the Mother of Pearl. And you need enough to have three layers over your image, it needs to be three layers, so you need to cut some of that off. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly cut some of that. And then if you fold it roughly into thirds so that you've got those three layers and a little bit of overlap as well. And then you need to place that directly onto your stamp and just hold it roughly in place then you also need a sheet of either vellum or greaseproof paper um, or this is a sheet of tracing paper okay and that needs to go over the top and that is to stop you're going to heat this with an iron in a minute and that is to stop the fancy film sticking to iron because it's a, a fusible material and that's exactly what we want it to do we want to fuse those three layers together um, to create a bit of thickness and at the same time it's going to pick up the ink from the stamp okay now I only recommend that you try this with red rubber stamps um, because the red rubber in the process of making your stamp is heated to a very very high temperature so it can cope with the heat from your iron whereas the clear stamps I don't know how they're made and I wouldn't want a chance using mine. I think they'd probably burn, melt or disintegrate. But if anybody's tried it and it does work, leave me a comment let me know. So you want to iron this until you can see the image of the butterfly. And once you can see that image, you can be pretty certain that you've, you've fused those layers together. And then all you need to do is to peel it off. Okay, your stamp will smoke a little bit by the way. It's not on fire, it's just the rubber heating. So don't worry about that. And there's your image. As you can see, we'll just peel it off the paper there. And the last stage is very quickly cut this out. And if you've heated it enough, all those layers will stay together so you don't need to worry about it falling apart. Your little scraps you can keep as well, you can use them on other projects. Um, I use them in backgrounds quite a lot. So if you do mixed media work, you can put them into your backgrounds. And if you have a look at my artwork projects, I've got a mermaid project on one of my videos where I've actually done exactly that. 
I have fused little random bits into the piece to give it a bit of extra sparkle. Okay, so we're almost there. Right, once your butterfly is cut out, it's ready to use. And I just wanted to show you very quickly, the Mother of Pearl has the effect of taking on colours um, of whatever it's next to. So if I put this, if you can see it firstly next to the white, it's got sort of lilac-y, blue tones, pinky almost, as you'd expect Mother of Pearl to be. And then if I change it to the red, you can see how it takes on the redness. So if I just slide back under the white there, you can see the different colours. It totally changes its colour. And I have to do the same with some green cardstock here, a light green cardstock. And again, you can see how the colour changes there. A lilac -y one will obviously make it more purpley, pinky colours. That will darken it. And a brown one will make it go almost copper in colour. So I hope that's been useful to somebody. I hope you try it out. And don't forget to leave a comment if you would like one of the faux carnival glass pieces. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.